Hello dear viewers. Every individual has some kind of defense mechanism to survive in this world. For example, in the acidic conditions of our stomach, almost any bacteria would find it almost impossible to survive. But this bacterium has some special method to survive in the acidic conditions of the stomach. When these bacteria become dangerous, then we need to detect these bacteria and using this defense method to detect them and deal with them is the baseline for 14 carbon urea breath test. That is a non-imaging diagnostic nuclear medicine. In my last presentation, I had briefed you about this and some of you have shown me interest in finding out more about it. And so I made a special video and hope that you like this too. The contents of this presentation will be what is in vivitro and about Helicobacter pylori, methods of H. pylori detection, why 14 carbon UBT, and about the radionuclide 14 carbon, principal prerequisites, protocol, precautions, and limitations of this test. Now, what is in vivitro? Radioactivity is administered inside the body, but the output from the patient in the form of exhaled breath, body fluid like blood or the excreted urine is used to acquire the counts. Now about H. pylori, it is a gram-negative spirally shaped bacterium. It exists in stomach mucosa. It can cause gastritis, which can lead to ulcer. And very few cases, it can turn out to become cancer, which is more serious. It was discovered by Dr. Barry Marshall in 1983. Methods of H. pylori detection. Gastroscopy can be one of them. Stool antigens can be detected. Serological samples can be used, but the most importantly, the one which we are talking about 14 carbon urea breath test. Now, why 14 carbon UBT? Because it is most reliable, it is non invasive, it is very simple to perform, and it gives fast results within half an hour. Ideal for active infection and follow up about 14 carbon as a radionuclide it is a pure beta emitter beta minus it is beta max that is the maximum radiation that the beta energies can give is 156 kV and then the average of them is just 49 kV it is a very long half life uh, radionuclide, decay rate being very slow, that means, and 5,730 years is its half-life. It is like many human lifespans. No risk of external exposure because no gamma radiations. It's very low risky uh, method used because it is used in micro curie amount. It is equivalent to just another day of natural background exposure. The principle of this test is urease positive H. pylori degrades the otherwise undegradable orally administered 14 carbon urea that is NH2-14-CO-NH2 to ammonia NH3 or NH4 plus ions and 14 carbon dioxide. This 14 carbon dioxide is exhaled through breath after around 10 minutes which can be measured using appropriate detector. The conventional method being liquid scintillation detector, the most commonly used is the GM counter based Helipro. Now the prerequisite for this test is that the patient should be off antibiotics bismuth for one month, proton pump inhibitors and sucralfate for two weeks prior to the test. Fasting is required for six hours before the test. 
The protocol used is the patient takes 14 carbonurea capsule, waits for 10 minutes, and blows air into the breath card till the indicator paper changes from orange to yellow color to show saturation of the air. That is like a pH paper indicator. The breath card is inserted into the analyzer and the counting is started. After 250 seconds, negative borderline or positive result can be detected. Less than 25 counts per minute is negative, 25 to 50 is borderline, and more than 50 can be taken as positive result. The precautions. The background counts have to be checked frequently because 14 carbon is in the background too, and it can vary as per the situation. And the detector has to be correcting for the background radiations. Only air to be blown in the breath card and not made wet with saliva or oral secretions to avoid the contamination by bacteria in the mouth can cause false positive test and the cap capsule should be swallowed intact. Now the limitations of this test, although very few cases such things can happen, and that is a false positive test in case of chlorhydria, where the acidic conditions of the stomach is not there, the stomach is not acidic due to some kind of abnormality, and very rarely because of this, the ones which can produce urease and uh, in, they survive in these non-acidic conditions. For example, Helicobacter helmani, and that can also degrade this urea, 14 carbon urea capsule. So it will not be exclusively for H. pylori detection. Now a false negative result can happen when the patient can uh, may have taken medication and has not stopped. So you'll have to stop the patient's uh, medication and then repeat it or use another alternative diagnostic method. So let me summarize the presentation. That is what is in vitro was shown to you. And then about Helicobacter pylori we have seen, the spiral shaped bacterium gram negative and the methods of H. pylori detection, like gastroscopy and the stool antigen, serological, and uh, the one which we are talked about is 14 carbon urea breath test. And why is it so helpful? And what is what are the advantages of 14 carbon UBT? And about the radionuclide as a that is the 14 carbon, and the principle of this test, the prerequisitions, protocol, precautions, and limitations. Finally, I leave you with any feedback, questions if you have, and I'm waiting for that. Thank you.